Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Chimera Squad. Today, we don't have much admin stuff to do, so we can just jump straight into the city map and see how this disaster scape is going. So at this rate, the fringe is about to kick off and so is the scavenger market. Uh, downtown, not looking too hot either, but we do have more intel opportunities here. Uh, we do have quite a lot of money, so maybe we'll go to the scavenger market today and have a look at Renova Heights before it pops off. Uh, our assembly and all that is still going. We've got three turns on that. Spec Ops comes back in turn, so we get Claymore back. And then in training, two more turns until Torque is ready. But fortunately, we do have our Major Crimes Task Force ready, and we can start. I think what we should start doing is some humanitarian aid pretty consistently, just to start reducing the big areas down even if it's not doing everything it will be reducing the big areas so let's just pick one of these missions i think maybe we'll go take a look at this i don't think we can afford anything right now that'd be 95 upgrade yeah it's all 95 so we're 10 short so the intel would be really useful uh i don't know if this i think this actually lowers no it doesn't but we could go do some shopping uh or we can investigate some strange devices and get some even more intel. And we'll just be rolling in intel everywhere. But we're about to get a big influx of intel anyway. So let's go take a look at scavenger market. Just because we've not been here before. Uh, yeah, I don't think we've got anything else to do. Let's just go. I'm checking inventory. Alright. How's your gear? Still there. You are such an ass. At least I have one. Very nice. All right, Hello, to the scavenger market. Hello, Squad. I'm the proprietor of the Viper's Nest, a humble establishment in the fringe. As I'm sure you know, dangerous tech from the advent days still turns up from time to time. The city pays well to anyone who turns it over, so I hire a network of scavengers to find the stuff. Oh, and I occasionally hear of opportunities that may interest you. If I do, I'll be in touch. So, uh, this stuff's not too expensive. The first two reloads in a mission do not cause connection. That's pretty good for 40. First three, load, first three reloads, that's pretty good. But that's 80. Uh, and then 50 plus... 10% improved even further with proximity to target. Oh, do we take their crit chance? Advanced laser sight for 50. That seems pretty cheap. I think we might take these two because they're only 90 for both, whereas that's 80 just for one. And as much as I would like three reloads, I think we're fine at the moment. We could buy all of them. But we're not going to. There we go. Oh, it costs intel. I'm sorry. So it's a good job we've been pining on this intel. So now we've got loads of money left. And we got two free... Well, two upgrades. Relatively cheap. We did miss out on getting another upgrade on here. But that's fine. Luckily, we have been getting so much uh, intel. Or just prioritizing intel that we had the extra bit of money. So now we've got some idle agents. And some new missions should be popping up. Well, I think this is going to be where we're going. Let's take a look at the other one, just to have a look. But this is zero, so we're probably not going to go here. Gives us a scope and 25 intel. And this would give us 30 Illyrium, minus 2 unrest, and 25 intel. Very difficult, though. Are they both very difficult? One's difficult, one's very difficult. Ooh, do we go for a very difficult mission? If we do that, we need to take... I mean, this squad's pretty good. We have a lot of damage clear. Do we take Claymore with us? We already spent his intel. It's all gone. <laughs> uh, so, we've got a choice. Whoever we've taken this mission is pretty much going to be who goes on the final mission, except we're going to replace one with Talk. Uh, so we're probably going to replace Patchwork with Talk just for this mission. Uh, because talks a little bit further ahead and her situational use is through the roof. This is going to be a good test on if we can handle a really, really hard mission. Uh, so that means Claymore 
isn't going to be doing anything. So I'm half tempted to send Claymore out on some humanitarian aid to reduce everything by one. So if you look at the city map, that would dock this down to one. Uh, this will probably have cleared by then. This probably would have kicked off. It's gonna, and this is gonna go up to two, so it might be good just because in five turns this is gonna look worse than it is now. But that does mean taking Claymore out for five turns and not doing any training while he's there. So right now, Talk's only got one turn left, and then we can put. Uh, oh, we could put Blue Blood in training and put him there. Hmm. It's gonna be tough choice. Tough choice. This is pretty tricky, actually. Do we take Claymore instead? Or we could put Claymore in for his training. That's also an option. Maybe we'll do that. So, I think we might have to put him in for five just to help with that for now. Uh, what else can we get in here? Could get a free item at scavenger market that could be good a free f a, yeah a free fill team also really good that's now getting ahead of that yes yeah, so i think but it is over an extra two turns so i still think this earns more so in six terms you would get 130 whereas in five turns you'd get 90 or 85 so this is still works out far better in the long run compared to that Makes me wonder, do we just keep going for legwork for now, so we can keep as many people active as we can? And we can just predict what we can do with it much better, while we get everything else up? Hmm. These are some tough choices right now. Unfortunately. This has still got two turns to go. And then we're going to have our submachine guns up and running. So we've got a fair bit of money. Uh, these are going to cost more than we can afford. I'm guessing they're going to be at least 200. To be able to get a new one. But that's fine. We might be able to afford one of those for the big mission. Potentially. What day is it? It's Thursday. So we get paid tomorrow. So the pay goes up tomorrow. Which means we're going to have a bit more money. Yeah, so we'll have more tomorrow for sure so yeah I think we're going to do some more legwork to just keep that intel going we're going to put Claymore on there so we're not we're going to be taking Blue Blood to this last mission uh, rather than Claymore but we're going to take Talk as well so we're going to have lots of shots lots of shots but do we just want damage because Claymore just causes so much chaos so much chaos when he's doing stuff Yeah, that might be it. I just had a thought. Maybe we swap out... Because <clears throat> we've only got two days left, we can swap out Patchwork now. And then we can have Claymore go on this mission as well. Although she does do guaranteed damage, which is super handy. Yeah, let's go. Let's go take a quick look. What? Oh yeah, and she got extra aim and the extra damage. He has the breach and everything. I'm pretty confident that she will do alright in this mission. Let's take a quick look at the mission itself. Uh, yes, because we're not actually going to a mission. So it's going to be two encounters. It's going to be a door a and a repel. Okay. Oh, what's the actual mission to do? Uh, we received a tip about a makeshift power core, so it's to blow stuff up. It's literally to blow stuff up. Hmm. In that case, maybe we do take Claymore. It's literally a mission about blowing stuff up. I mean, it's made for him. Made for him. Uh, we want to just look at him, see what he's loaded at. It is at the moment. So we're going to have to give him loads of his equipment back. 
and his abilities. He's now got the sticky grenades as well, so he's just going to be grenading everything. Uh, we're going to drop all of this because she's about to go do some legwork for us. So let's put her into here. She's going to go do some legwork. We're about to go on this mission. Get his APC ready. All right, so now we need to equip him with some extra padding. Give him a smoke bomb anyway. And a med kit. So now we've got all these extra bits. Uh, so I might give him... So he's got this. So we're going to take this off and give him the advanced autoloader. Then Claymore can have an autoloader. And... You can take the 10% crit. Because what's his crit like? Uh, 0 got to 10. And what's Blue Bloods? I think his is already 10. We've put his up to 20. I think that might be even better. Although the aim is super nice. Because he's got 80 aim at the moment. His is only 73. So yeah, I think we swap these around. Uh, there we go. Here. We take... Let's just redo this. So he's going to have an advanced base sight and... No. Advanced lace sight and advance. There we go. So he's now done. And Claymore can have his loader. And he can have aim. And then on terminal. She's only got 72 aim. Maybe we give her. Yeah, I think that'll do. And Cherub doesn't. He doesn't even need a gun most of the time. <laughs> So, all right, so now we're all fully equipped. Uh, we could buy a bit more money. F uh, buy a bit more money. Could buy a bit more stuff with our money. Uh, potentially give him uh, a grenade instead of a bomb. Because uh, he can throw two, I believe. So, let's go buy him a grenade to throw. That'd be a good start. So, we've got smoke grenades, or I think we're going to go for a flashbang grenade. Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy one flashbang. Now we can put this. Eventually, we'll go on this mission. I promise. Uh, we can drop... Uh, that would be utility. There we go. And now... We haven't got space for any more. Oh, we already had a frag grenade. We can give him a frag grenade. Flashbang or frag grenade. <clears throat> I think the, having multiple flashbangs might be a bit more useful. Uh, then we can have a spare frag over here. We'll give it a try. Going with a lot of grenades. He's got smoke bombs, grenades, grenades, and a shotgun with a giant scope on it. Let's go. Bunched up on the target device. Bunched up, you say? Alright. Oh, so we get four different repels. Guess plus 25 aim. Successful shots on cr uh, enemies will crit. Plus 25 defense. So we've got aim. Oh, this is so broken up as well. Hmm, so I think this is going to be Cherub. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Sorry. This might have to be Cherub. That's the crits. So yeah, I think we're going to put him here. The aim, I think we probably want on terminal. Uh, and then we've got two crits. So we can do this. Uh, so I think that might work. That way we get an auto crit on his lance, uh, not his lance shot, on his ignore cover shot. So that's super useful. Uh, she's going to have the increased aim, so that should give her 97% aim. So that's going to mean her she's really accurate. The defense on him, because he's supposed to be tanking, and he's just going to run straight forward uh, on the first round anyway. 
Um, yeah, and then the shotgun is also going to crit. Open sesame. So here we go. There's a codex in there already. I can see you. Slow to... Slowest uh, <laughs> breach ever. So there's an archer in the background. We've got an aggressive trooper. Surprise acolyte. A sorcerer. Archon aggressive. So we're going to shoot the aggressive codex because I hate codexes. Please go away. Uh, so he has the high crit chance. Uh, I think we go for the high chance. Oh, he missed. That's what I was worried about. He could try and phalanx. But it is only the first entrance. I think we need to try and kill this codex. One damage. Hit the worst. Uh, yeah, so we can't kill anything. Oh, that armor's ruining us. We're gonna have to go for this codex. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've got to get the crit. So we took two damage, I believe. Yeah. Okay, this... That was a really bad breach. Two turns to get over there. I don't think that's gonna happen. So we're not gonna heal just yet. We need to pin. Do a pinning shot. Uh, probably on the Archon. Push him down after Claymore. I think that's probably a good idea. So we've got a good shot here. And some really bad shots. We could do Cooperation to let Claymore th throw a grenade or Cherub do... I think Cherub. Uh, just so he can oh blue blood who's already weak and standing out in the open because he forgot to take cover apparently so we've got four damage going straight into terminal yeah claymore he gets the sticky grenade I believe this is a free action. So he could throw that at the Archon. The Archon is going to run at us though. So maybe we throw this at the Sorcerer. What I'm worried about is the Archon will just run the grenade into us. I don't really want that to happen. So throw that over here. Now oh, I should have gone for the Bruiser. Oh, it forces the fall back, doesn't it? Perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, but, oh, that ends his turn. I did not know that. I would have thrown the other grenade first then if I'd have known that. I didn't realize it ended the turn. That needs to be like way clearer. Good work on hitting that shield. Dumbass. I think he just ended himself. Cherub doesn't need to move up anymore. Probably didn't need to do on blue blood, but uh, so that's like half on the move. Oh no! Oh, six damage, Jeebus! So can't lance anybody. Uh, this sorcerer needs to die. Uh, will his regular shot do it? Doesn't have a chance to. This has a chance to. Okay. Take it again. Gotcha. Only four damage. 
You whiffed, boy. I would say you had one shot, but you had two. She's on one health, so she's gonna force... Oh, I'll just force her to shoot again. Because he can self-fire. Oh, this is going badly. Alright, terminal. Heal everybody. <laughs> Alright, so... Who do you heal first, though? I think you heal yourself first. Okay. And you got a good shot there if you want it. You could try and finish off the sorcerer. Can't see who number three is. Number three is the bruiser over there. We could take the risky shot. We could also throw a grenade, which I think would guarantee kill. How far could you throw this? Pretty far. Uh, so I think that will guarantee the kill on the sorcerer. Tossing frag. So we'll throw that. Yeah. And then she gets to shoot. It's kind of face. There we go. See, so he's damaged a bit. And uh, then we get to throw some more grenades. Uh, so we can throw this at the bruiser. Because uh, he's going to come out of cover regardless. I think we throw this here and then overwatch. Throwing explosive. Uh, we've also got Flashbang. Uh, that we can throw on this guy. Because he's going Throwing next. A just in case. I like the flash. The bang. There we go. And then... He actually has a pretty good shot on him. Uh, and then I think, because the Bruce is going next, we're going to overwatch. Will not get through. Deep breath. Pick your shots. He literally just moved. Okay. So we need some shields going now. On you. He doesn't have the movement to reach it, so we're going to lose that regardless. Uh, they're just going to deal with the trooper. So we should have flashbanged the other one. I made the Out the building. Explode. Didn't hit him somehow. Even though he stood right next to it. Apparently the door frame prevented it. That's... That's a load of rubbish, that is. So you've not got much good. So he can take a pot shot and then go into Overwatch. So let's do that. Yeah, he missed. Not doing... Not doing very well with the luck this time. Um... No, we don't want to overwatch. We want to go into some hard cover. So then we're going to go here. That should put him into overwatch. Feel the fire cover. Yep. Way to cover there we go. Us. So we got three damage. If we had landed the first shot, that would have killed. Who's going to get suplexed? Cherub. That's fine. Uh, heals. And I think Claymore's next. Need a little help? Wonderful. Uh, can we just bash him? Okay. Stay down. All right, so that ends that anyway. And then we get another grenade that might actually work this time. I thought it would work if it landed in the door frame, but apparently that tiny door frame prevents it. Knocked open that door. And then go watch again. For targets. It's just gonna do the same thing again. Let me break the connect shield. Okay. Surprised he's not moving out of cover. He's just willing to take the grenade hits.
I think that would run him into the grenade before killing him. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to... Just in case this goes badly, we're going to connect shield him. Can't do that, so... We're going to connect shield and run into some cover up here. Found a better position. Grenade explodes. Does the damage. Weapons running low. Blue blood. Get the finish. I probably should have waited to get an extra heal off. Oh, you didn't do it. That was a bad collar. It was. That's shameful. Let's get your insides back inside. I'm pretty sure he's got a shield there. He does. Yeah. Uh, so I think we just let him go again and knock him out. Go! Go now! Yeah. Could probably have got a med kit in there, but just punch him. Full out. There we go. So he's gonna get a charge for the end of this round. Right, this breach. Delay disable. The last unit through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. So Cherub's probably going to go last. Pinpoint. Successful shots on enemies will crit. Okay. So, who do we want going in first? Probably want Claymore. Blue Blood. Terminal. Terminal's going to use her heal. And then Cherub. So we're going to do this so that he... Oh yeah, because it's not valid for units breach lock. Oh, sad. Uh, so, does that mean if we swapped him he'd be able to grenade? I'm curious. If he went here, because he's not opening the door. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so I would like to select that. Yeah, so now he's going to go f go through first, which is weird when your DPS is going first. But we can then use the abilities from the mission and everyone else's abilities on the breach. So we get a smoke grenade out, we can get a heal off, and we can get the phalanx at the end on the weapon disabled, and then he can just charge off and punch people. So I think this is what we need to do. Breach, breach. We're going to breach. Heal everyone up. So that's an 8 point heal. It's pretty solid. Get the smoke grenade for the cover so we can run in. Uh, we get a surprise on a trooper. Shroud, shroud, shrouded. Yep. Uh, we also get to use his lance again. There's an at the back. There's a bruiser at the back. There's a codex. Codex is surprised. But we're going to Phalanx anyway, so we don't need to worry about those more. So I think Codex is our main target. And then the Sorcerer next. Maybe the Archon. So... 100% shit. Uh, oh, 98% chance to kill. Take it. Nice. Wasted damage a little bit, but it guaranteed the kill. So now we can go... Uh, on the Sorcerer a bit. Rizzo could. Who else is aggressive? So we've got an aggressive Archon and aggressive Bruiser. Who can we reliably kill? Can't kill the. Oh, yeah, we're not going to be able to get another kill because we're going to Phalanx. So. Who do we take the chip shot on? Maybe the Bruiser, just because it's a guaranteed hit. Sorcerer's pretty high, though. I might hit Sorcerer anyway, just because that's a chance to do a bit of damage. There we go. And then the Phalanx to save everybody else from dying immediately. There we go. So, blocked however much damage that was. 
We did also have the smoke grenade, which didn't do anything to use. I thought it would hang around, but it doesn't. So we get Lancer shot. Oh, because the angle. That's so disappointing. Oh, there's a dude back there as well. Hi. Alright, so. We have to clear the cube farm, destroy the power core, stop reinforcements. So where's this power core? That's the important thing first. This is the power core right here. So we need to destroy that first. Wonder if you can get any stroke kills. 100% chance to hit that. Uh, we could just destroy that immediately. Uh, we're not getting any reinforcements yet, but... Uh, can't tell if that reaches. I don't think it does. No. No, it doesn't. Uh, maybe we go for the sorcerer. I'll just do a bit of damage on her. On the way back there. Sorcerer's my next fear. Who's number. Oh, the Archon's next. Definitely can't kill the Archon before he acts. The Bruiser. Definitely can't do anything about him. And then we got all these guys going next. So they're going to have to go two guys first. And if we get here, we might be able to kill bruiser and that farm with one grenade. Let's just give that a shot. Five damage. Wow. That's a lot of damage. <clears throat> but the plan is Claymore's going to throw a grenade and destroy him and the boy gets to act. Oh, he lets other people go first. That's in a better position for us. Because Claymore can now... Oh, you can't reach. The disappointment. The actual disappointment. <clears throat> so. Do we just go for someone else instead? I think we need to get that kill though. So we're going to throw that there. And stop him acting at least. Throwing shrapnel. <clears throat> and we get to get rid Bomb of some of that. Zone. We can still sticky grenade someone. Like the sorceress. Ruining the hostile's day. And she has <laughs> She killed him anyway. <laughs> My god. I did not expect that. Did she kill her she killed herself? She ran into another explosive and killed herself. I thought she was gonna run into the Archon. Nope. Alright, so heals. We're okay for now. Uh, we get a pinning shot. Maybe on the Archon? Or the Brute? No, oh, it has to be the Archon. Alright, because we can't see the Brutes indoors. We're gonna pin him down. Uh, Corporation's still on cooldown. What's her shooting like? She's got decent shot on the Archon. Not so decent shot there. Alright, so, because he's coming out soon. I'm actually going to put that here. I'll shoot anything that moves. And then we've got the shield boy. He's probably going to shield himself. And jump down. And bait out. Because he's got no gun. So I think we can reload to get the gun back. But Popping and blocking. I don't care that much. So he's got full charges now. So we can get him down here into some really high cover. Or down here. To some not so great cover. And the next time we need to destroy that thing to slow the reinforcements. Uh, but Blue Blood will be able to go and do that. So do we bring him down? And make him the target? And we'll just try and thin everybody out before? Oh, 
He's got some solid cover there. Let's go there. I'm going. So he's just gonna run it forward. All right. He's gonna come out. Is he gonna run out, or is he gonna take shots? Flank shots, cherub. Okay. So we can grenade that window now. You take that melee stance. Uh, so now we get to destroy. Do take a shot at someone else first, because we can guarantee that regardless. That's a pretty good shot. That's not bad on the Archon. And the Archon will be going pretty soon. We've got the Trooper, but can't kill him anyway. That we can always hit. I think we just take... Oh, I should have taken a regular shot. Nice. It's four damage. Alright. Oh, we have 100% chance to hit the Brute down there. Uh, three to four damage. We switch this to two. It's flat four damage. So I think we take the flat door floor damage. Destroy that. Oh, I didn't realize it exploded as well. So he's now fire Close and has no end. cover. And is now dead. Real dead. So let's throw some more grenades. Can you get that through the window? No, it's quite slightly out of range. Same for the Archon. What's the range on the flash? So you can flash both. So you could get... This out here... Sort of mess them up a bit. I think what I'm gonna try and do is do that and then I'm gonna use my free flashbang in here Checking your flash. disorientating both and then what shots we got we got some decent shots oh close He's gonna run. Oh, we could have overwatched. One damage in the chair. Dodged it, luckily. The Archon. What the hell was that? Is that what that stuff on the floor was? I wonder what that really was. Five damage shot. Wow. You need to heal yourself, Tamil, before you die horribly. But now Archon is just going to get punched in the face, most likely. Someone's getting punched in the face. So she can only see those two. And uh, we've got the Brute down here, who can still see Claymore. And he can, and he can see Cherub. So... I think we take a chance to kill the Archon. Didn't get to arrest him, no but uh, what's his punch like? Does he need to dash for it? No, because he's max stacks. So we can now shield Terminal, I think, because she's the most important. Yeah. No, we can shield ourselves. Because we're not in cover. We don't care about cover. And then we're going to deliberately come over here into the open it'll leave just that one dude left. And then he's gonna run to cover and punch us. Yeah. Gives us another connected charge. And then we're gonna snipe him in the back. This second encounter was way smoother. He's in melee stance, so I don't really want to mess with that. Nice. I'm just gonna keep chipping away at him. 
Nice. And Cherub can finish him off. Uh, we can get down here and punch him. I'm just curious what his melee stance does. Not enough. So we've got two wounded, two lightly wounded. No one went down. We captured six people, so we're going to get our intel. That first part was sketchy, to say the least. But the second part smoothed it all out. We had That was perfect for us, just able to snipe them from the high ground. It was a bit long range, so Claymore struggled with the explosing explosives he was supposed to do. But we did learn how the new abilities work, because <laughs> we did not know going into that. The fringe is at level 5. Tor completed her training. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Hey, Blue Blood, can you help me train? I need to test an adjustment on my shield. Of course. What are we doing? So, I need you to shoot me. No, no, man, I'm not gonna shoot you. It's the only way to field test my shield. Cherub, we have ballistic mannequins for this exact purpose. We do? Yeah. Let's get one set up. Thanks, Blue Blood. Don't know what I'd do without you on the team. Probably get shot in the face. Uh, Cherub and Blue Blood. So good. So, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Let's take a quick look at our map before we go. The fringe is about to pop off, but we can actually stop that from going too far. We can also do a freeze district somewhere as well if we want. I uh, managed to stop something going awry here, so everything smoothed out in the end. Not too bad. Got loads of intel, loads of credits, and loads of Illyrium now. So, a pretty successful day, I'd say. Oh, and it's Friday. That's why we're rich. Because we got paid in a ridiculous <laughs> amount of missions. So, thank you very much. For, thank you very much for watching. There we go. I can speak. I hope everybody is staying safe, staying indoors in these strange times. And I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.